สวัสดีครับต้อนรับเข้าสู่สุดที่ชัยไลฟ์ครับช่วงนี้ผมโทรไปอังกฤษครับเพราะว่ามีนักเคลื่อนไหวคนหนึ่งสอนเรื่องว่ายน้ำให้กับเด็กผู้หญิงบอกว่าจะต้องช่วยทำให้เด็กผู้หญิงทั่วโลกเนี่ยว่ายน้ำเป็นเพื่อจะได้ไม่มีกรณีของการจมน้ำอีกต่อไปครับคุณมาลินีเมราครับไฮมาลินี Hello. Hi. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Chai. Lovely to be speaking. Fine. Yeah. Fine. Great. I missed you in Bangkok when you were here uh, last week. Indeed, I was there last week, and you were very busy this time last week. <laughs> yes. Yes. But now I'm happy that we can talk and tell tell us about your uh, campaign to help train girls around the world to swim, so that there will be zero drowning. That's right. So thank you very much for the opportunity. Yes. Uh, Thailand, Thailand. This is such an important issue because the leading killer of children in Thailand is drowning. Really. And this is such a horrifying statistic. Mm -hmm. If you look globally, mm -hmm. drowning is the cause of is the third leading cause of death of children globally mm -hmm. after malnutrition and diarrhea. Oh. But oh. in some countries around the world, especially. Especially in Asia, in yeah. our part of the world, yes. I'm from India. Yes. In our part of the world, in Asia, yeah. we have countries such as Bangladesh and Thailand and Vietnam and China, yes. where drowning is in fact the leading cause of death of children. Wow. And this is profoundly disturbing, mm -hmm, especially mm -hmm. because it is so poorly. Understood. Uh -huh. This is not a statistic which is widely known and understood, uh -huh. let alone being acted on by our authority. Uh, okay, let me translate into Thai. คุณมาลินีบอกว่าตัวเลขนี้เราจะไม่ค่อยรู้นะครับว่าเด็กเสียชีวิตด้วยการจมน้ำเนี่ยมีสถิติที่สูงมากและในทั้งโลกเนี่ยเป็นอันดับ3แต่ว่าในเอเชียเนี่ยเกือบจะเรียกว่าเป็นอันดับหนึ่งเลยไม่ค่อยจะมีใครรู้สถิตินี้เท่าไหร่ Are you saying, Malini, that drowning is the number one killer in Asia for kids? Drowning is the number one killer of children, children. in specific countries in Asia. Thailand And those included. countries are Bangladesh, uh, China, Thailand. Wow. Thai, but they Thai, Jin, and Bangladesh. Yeah, the number of children who die from drowning is the number one killer of children in Asia. Thailand included. Yeah, but they Thai, Jin, and Bangladesh. Yeah, the ขาดอาหารไม่ใช่เรื่องของโรคภัยไข้เจ็บแต่ประการใดทั้งสิ้น So how do you explain that? Um, now partly it's because we have very poor systems for recording deaths due to drowning. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. If you look at the World Health Organization, the World Health Organization is the UN body yes. which is responsible for dealing yes. with uh, with uh, with issues such as Uh, such as drowning death, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and yet at the WHO, they have a very inadequate system uh -huh. of collecting global data mm -hmm. on drowning. Mm -hmm. So they only collect data on drowning which is provided to them by national authorities. Oh. So, for oh. example, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. the deaths in uh, in waterways, in coasts and waterways due to water transport accidents, yes. like happened with the Phoenix. Yes. Disaster in Phuket. Yes. Those are not. Uh, those recorded. are not recorded uh -huh. by international bodies, uh -huh. and so we have an extraordinary underestimation mm -hmm. of drowning death. Ah, ตัวเลขสถิติที่มาลินีบอกว่าที่มันมีปัญหาคือว่าไม่มีการบันทึกยอดผู้เสียชีวิตที่เป็นเด็กจากการจมน้ำอย่างเป็นเรื่องเป็นราวแม้กระทั่งองค์การอนามัยโลกเนี่ยก็ต้องอาศัยรัฐบาลทั้งหลายเนี่ยส่งตัวเลขและรัฐบาลทั้งหลายส่วนใหญ่ก็จะไม่มีระบบบันทึกมาลินียกตัวอย่างว่าเรือจล่มที่ภูเก็ตเมื่อเร็วเร็วนี้เรือฟินิกส์เนี่ยจะไม่ปรากฏอยู่ในสถิติของการเสียชีวิตของเด็กเลยทั้งทั้งที่จะมีเด็กเสียชีวิตมากจากการว่ายน้ำไม่เป็นหรือจากอุบัติเหตุทางน้ำเนี่ยแหละครับอ่า when did you start this campaign So I started this campaign last year, mm -hmm. and I launched it in Mexico yes. at the UN at the UN conference on disaster risk reduction in mm -hmm. May last year. Uh huh. Ah, uh, ปีที่แล้วครับเป็นมาลินีก็เริ่มต้นรณรงค์เพื่อที่จะสอนให้เด็กเนี่ยโดยเฉพาะเด็กผู้หญิงเนี่ยให้ว่ายน้ำให้เป็น What uh, sparked that? What spurred you into this? Apart from the fact that right. you knew about it. 
Yeah, so what led me to wanting to spend the, these few years on this, focusing on this campaign, mm. is because I've been working on the issues of women's rights and girls' rights and sustainable development and climate change mm. for about 30 years now. Ah, 30 years ago, เกี่ยวกับเรื่องการพัฒนาที่ยั่งยืนนะครับแล้วก็แน่นอนเกี่ยวกับสิทธิเด็กด้วยเอ่อ uh, ran into these statistics Well no I mean what what became very obvious to us so I would go to endless UN meetings to deal with climate change adaptation we mm-hmm. know climate change is happening yeah. we know that governments are required to adapt to it mm-hmm. and at these meetings I would ask the question I would say look we know that flooding is becoming more frequent yes. and intense yes and it's a real problem mm-hmm. in our part of the world especially yes. in Asia mm-hmm. and I would ask the question how many of you are actually working on very simple interventions like teaching children and in particular teaching girls mm. to swim uh-huh. and this campaign started with that simple question uh-huh. because the answer was hardly anybody is doing anything mm. about this issue ครับเริ่มต้นจากที่มาลินีเนี่ยเรื่องโลกร้อนแล้วก็การปรากฏการณ์น้ําท่วมมันมีมากขึ้นมากขึ้นพอน้ําท่วมมากขึ้นมากข
tough and strong to be able to well i have to tell you i have to say i am not a champion swimmer no i've never done competitive swimming yes. swimming is something that i love doing i've been doing triathlon for a long time right but i'm not I'm not a fantastic swimmer by any means, so this right. pushes me also. Ah, ha. บอกว่าปกติไม่ใช่นักว่ายน้ำระดับแชมเปี้ยนอะไรทั้งสิ้นนะครับบอกว่าชอบว่ายน้ำแต่ไม่ได้เก่งกาดขนาดนั้นเพียงแต่ว่าเป็นนักเคลื่อนไหวฉะนั้นต้องแสดงให้เห็น And where did you swim in Thailand when you came last week? So in Thailand, yeah. So Thailand, when I came, mm-hmm. it was the fourth country mm-hmm. after Bangladesh mm-hmm. and after China, mm-hmm. and I looked for. I ideally, I always want to do my swim in a public swimming pool uh-huh. because the whole point is to promote public use of publicly accessible swimming pools. So I did it in the Raja Mangala National Stadium. Raja Mangala, นะครับน้ำน้ำกีฬาบอสปกติไปไหว้น้ำประเทศต่างๆนี่ก็ไหว้มาสามประเทศรวมไทยก็สี่ประเทศจีนอินเดียบางประเทศแล้วก็ไทยไหว้ที่ราชมังคลาเนี่ยก็เพื่อที่จะให้เป็นที่ที่คนรู้จักสระว่ายน้ำสาธารณะ and were there many people who were watching you taking part yeah so it's interesting um I I didn't organize this with any with any great pomp and glory or anything like that yeah. I just wanted to go along on a regular day yes and see how is this pool used And to my great surprise and pleasure, mm-hmm. I found that it was being used for swimming lessons, mm-hmm. and wonderfully mm-hmm. by swimming lessons mm-hmm. by little children, by uh, school oh. children, girls and boys. Ah, บอกว่าไปที่สนามสระว่ายน้ำที่ราชมังคลาเนี่ยก็เห็นว่าแปลกใจเลยเพราะว่าได้ใช้จริงๆมีการสอนเด็กๆให้ว่ายน้ำเป็นจริงๆ Yeah, but. How do you make sure that your campaign will succeed in convincing parents, teachers, government authorities to really launch campaigns to teach girls to swim? Right. So let's start with uh, what is already being done. Mm-hmm. So part of the reason I started the campaign was I wanted to make sure that people understood number one there was a problem, mm-hmm. but that number two there were already small communities of people, especially from the public health, uh, mm-hmm. life-saving communities mm-hmm. who were who were engaged. I wanted to give them yeah. visibility through this campaign. Mm-hmm. ก็คือพยายามที่จะให้เจ้าคนที่เกี่ยวข้องโดยเฉพาะหน่วยราชการที่เกี่ยวข้องกับเรื่องสาธารณสุขเนี่ยให้มีความตื่นตัวแล้วก็ร่วมกัน so you must form some kind of uh, community or some kind exactly of, yeah. exactly mm-hmm. exactly mm-hmm. so when I was in Thailand for example mm-hmm. I always do my homework before I go to any of these countries yes. we have a number of wonderful partners around the world right and I found out that actually in Thailand mm-hmm. the government has been Very active yes. uh, through the Ministry of Public Health and the Ministry of Education, mm-hmm. partnering with organizations like UNICEF, yes. and also supported by uh, international organizations like the Royal the Royal Australian Life Saving Society, yes. um, and of course the Thai Life Saving Society. Mm. So I want to share with your. Uh, with your viewers, a little bit of what I found out yes. about what's going on in Thailand. Yes, m mm-hmm. m แปลว่าเนี่ยก็ได้เจอกับหลายชุมชนหลายชมรมที่มีความตื่นตัวคึกคักเรื่องนี้ m mm-hmm. บอกว่าอยากจะแบ่งปันประสบการณ์ของประเทศไทยให้กับเรา So what were your main experiences now? So what I found out is that there has been a national program mm-hmm. called Merit Makers Mer- in Thailand. Merit Makers. And this is supported by the Ministry of Public Health, mm-hmm. and it's a non-profit effort mm-hmm. to teach swim safety and water safety around the country. Ah, b u มีโครงการหนึ่งแรกของกระทรวงสาธารณสุขสอนเด็กให้ไหว้น้ำเป็นทั่วประเทศเลยครับ Yes. Mm-hmm. So this has been running for a number of years. Mm-hmm. It's still quite small, uh, but I had the privilege of going with the Ministry of Education mm-hmm. and with UNICEF mm-hmm. to a new initiative, mm-hmm. which uh, which seeks the leadership of head teachers mm-hmm. in drowning prevention programs. ครับก็มีจุดเริ่มต้นแล้วล่ะมีการเชื่อมโยงต่อองค์กรท้องถิ่นที่จะทำ So do you have to Keep in touch so that the, your initiative will be sustainable. Absolutely, but it's also about making sure 
that um, the one of the very simple things that we can be doing, mm. if this is a key message of our campaign, it's to recognize that if we leave it to private voluntary efforts mm -hmm. to teach drowning and water safety, it will take too long. This mm -hmm. is not the most efficient way of saving lives. วิธีการที่ทำไม่ใช่ปล่อยให้เป็นเรื่องของเอกชนทำแบบแบบอาสาสมัครไม่พอครับ So what would be the most effective way? So if we want to be serious, yes. we have to make sure that we have in the national curricula uh -huh. swim safety and water safety taught throughout the public schooling system. Mm. This is a responsibility for governments mm. and governments, the ministries of education, joining together with ministries of public health, tourism, climate change, and others. A real coordinated ทั้งเดียวที่จะมีประสิทธิภาพคือจะต้องใส่เข้าไปเป็นหลักสูตรเลยครับในโรงเรียนทั้งหลายแหล่ต้องมีการบังคับให้สอนเป็นวิชาบังคับเพื่อให้เด็กทุกคนต้องว่ายน้ำเป็น and are you sure that this will happen in Thailand I hope that it will I think that the government has been doing some very interesting things yes so if you look at the Uh, the strapline of our campaign yes. is the title is Teach a Girl to Swim, mm -hmm. but it's about saving lives, yes. empowering girls, mm -hmm. and tackling climate change. Wow, it's yes. about bringing these issues together in an mm -hmm. integrated way. We have to take care of the climate change, 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 ว่ายน้ําเป็นเพราะว่าถ้าหากปัญหาโลกร้อนมันทําให้น้ําท่วมมันทําให้อากาศผิดปกติฝนตกไม่ถูกต้องตามฤดูกาลก็จะเกิดภัยพิบัติและจะเกิดเรื่องของวาตาภัยซึ่งเด็กๆไม่ว่าจะอยู่จังหวัดไหนก็ตามเนี่ยมีโอกาสเสี่ยงภัยได้ทั้งสิ้น but the main thing would be kids in the provinces the rural areas rather than in the cities absolutely because the You're so right because the majority of deaths are in the rural areas, right. and that's where we have weakest provision. Yes. And so some of our partners, the best partners that we're working with, mm -hmm. are in countries like Thailand and in Bangladesh, yes. where they are teaching children swim safety mm -hmm. in very very simple ways, in pools and in rivers using simple wooden. Ah. Bamboo platforms mm. that you don't need a fancy hotel. Right. You just need to make sure that you have uh, mm. instructors who can teach you in a safe environment yeah. in a local pond, a village pond, or a mm. river. Well, ผมก็บอกว่าเด็กต่างจังหวัดต่างหากเราที่ต้องการความช่วยเหลือวิธีการฝึกมากกว่าเด็กในเมืองก็บอกจริงเลยชัดเลยที่บางประเทศที่อินเดียเนี่ยซึ่งเป็นบ้านเกิดของมารินีเนี่ยก็คือจะต้องใช้สระว่ายน้ําต่างจังหวัดหรือว่าสระธรรมดานี่แหละสระที่อยู่ในหมู่บ้านนั่นแหละสอนแล้วใช้วิธีการปกติเช่นอาจจะใช้ไม้ขอนเพื่อจะสอนวิธีการเพราะว่าต่างจังหวัดไม่ได้มีงบประมาณไม่ได้ไม่ได้มีอุปกรณ์อะไรที่จะสามารถช่วยได้ you know how I learned to swim when I was a kid มาเลยนี่ tell me there was no there was no swimming pool about fifty y e a r s ago there was no swimming pool and I was a provincial boy So we sneaked yeah. out of our home because parents said, "No, no way that you can go, you you go swimming because in the in the canal it's too dangerous." But we as, we as kids had to had to sneak out with friends to these yeah. uh, rubber plantations where they have water ponds, which are you know not that safe. The water is not that clean. But we played around and we learned yes. the natural way. There was no, there were no teachers, there were no coaches, but we learned how to swim. <laughs> and, and that's wonderful. Can, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Yes. How many girls? How many girls joined you? None. On that playful time in the water. None. None. We are only exactly. boys. That's yeah. the point. Yeah. 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 That's no. the point. Yeah, because girls would be too scared. To uh, or, or uh, not adventurous enough to go uh, into this rubber plantation to swim, and also parents would be very strict with them. Parents would not be as strict with the boys, but with the girls, no way you can leave home without telling mom where you were going. 
So and that is exactly, you've made my point beautifully for me. Yes. Because it points to mm -hmm. the different social standards yes. around girls and boys, the different social expectations and the yes. restrictions that yes. they are under. It's not this, it wasn't discrimination, uh, Malini. It was just the parents were more concerned about the safety of the girls than the boys. They thought boys could take care of themselves somehow, but girls, no, they needed protection. Right? So this is why, absolutely. So yeah. this is why the safest way to teach children nowadays yes. is through the school system. Right. Because there's an other underlying factor. Yes. If you look at countries which have very, very highly polluted air, yes. uh, for example, you know, in many, many parts of India. Yes. So when I was in Calcutta, we were talking to swimming instructors mm -hmm. and speaking with them about the WHO, the World Health Organization guidelines. Yeah. on teaching water safety and swim safety. Right. So the WHO says that it is much, much better to teach swimming in a controlled and a safe school environment because nowadays also the children who are living in highly polluted environments uh -huh. have all sorts of respiratory diseases, emphysema, asthma, which may not be clearly visible. So if you introduce them to water without pre-screening, it can be harmful for them. Yeah. So it's another reason why there should be safe, protected environment for children to learn swim safety and water safety in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Malini said that in the past, you have to find a way to learn that you can learn from the country or other countries, to make sure that there is a way to learn from the children to learn from the children to learn from the children to learn from the children. So your emphasis will be on girls, right? The emphasis is on girls, yes. and it's precisely for some of the points that you have made. Mm -hmm. Because it's recognizing that because of a wide re you know, range of social reasons, whether it's to do with parents' protectiveness or modesty issues, that girls are made more vulnerable yeah. by not being encouraged right. to go into the water mm -hmm. and learn how to swim mm -hmm. and rescue themselves if ever they come into a situation mm -hmm. of a flood mm -hmm. or any mm -hmm. kind of uh, water surge mm -hmm. which could be dangerous to them. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's teaching them survival skills. Yeah, the children พ่อแม่จะไม่ยอมให้เด็กผู้หญิงไปว่ายน้ําโดยเฉพาะถ้ามันไม่มีสระที่เป็นเรื่องเป็นราวไม่มีครูเด็กต่างจังหวัดนี่เด็กผู้ชายจะหนีพ่อแม่ไปว่ายน้ําเด็กผู้หญิงก็จะไม่มีโอกาสเรียนว่ายน้ําเหมือนเด็กผู้ชายฉะนั้นบาลินีบอกว่านั่นแหละคือประเด็นนั่นแหละจําเป็นจะต้องสอนให้เด็กผู้หญิงเนี่ยได้ว่ายน้ําถูกวิธีและอย่างปลอดภัยด้วยในสังคมยุคใหม่ที่ความเสี่ยงเด็กผู้หญิงเสียชีวิตจากภัยที่เกี่ยวกับน้ํานี่มากขึ้นทุกวัน Yes, so you plan to do this in uh, for the next year or so? Yes, absolutely. So next year, in the next year, mm -hmm. there's going to be a big conference, a UN conference in Geneva in May. Yes. It will be the next big UN conference on disaster risk reduction. Ah. So we're going to be holding an event um, uh, associated with the conference about teaching girls to swim about the campaign and about the progress that we have made. Mm -hmm. We have some very high profile ambassadors for the campaign, mm -hmm. uh, which include the former head of the UN Climate Change Secretariat mm -hmm. um, and many others. So we hope to make a real impact by then. Great, yeah. I'm going to talk about UN about the UN, which is not about the UN, but about the UN, which is 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 about the UN. That's great, yes. Uh, Malini, uh, could I could I could yes. I raise one more thing? Sure. One more thing that sure. really struck me when I came to Thailand. Sure, go ahead. So um, I I found out that actually the government passed just three years ago mm -hmm. an act of parliament called the the Gender Equality Act. Yes. And this act is um, one of the ways in which it's being implemented mm -hmm. is to make sure that in the national curricula mm -hmm. that there is no discrimination between the genders. Yes. And so this is a really good opportunity for us mm -hmm. to make sure that survival skills mm -hmm. like swimming and water safety mm -hmm. are taught mm -hmm. to both girls and boys mm -hmm. through the schooling system without mm -hmm. any discrimination. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful opportunity given the presence yeah. of this act. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I found out is that the government of Thailand 
is also making efforts at the United Nations in New York yep. to pass a global resolution mm -hmm. on drowning prevention. Okay. Thai, the Thai government, you said? The Thai government. Okay. It is part of a group mm. of half a dozen countries mm. seeking to pass a UN resolution on this issue. Okay. Marini said that three years ago, the Thai government has a new way to make 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 a new way อีกเรื่องหนึ่งคือรัฐบาลไทยเป็นสมาชิกของกลุ่มประเทศที่สาประชาชาติที่ผลักดันให้มีกฎหมายเกี่ยวกับเรื่องของการป้องกันการจมน้ําด้วยน่าสนใจเพราะว่าเราจะไม่เคยได้ยินเรื่องราวเหล่านี้นะครับยกเว้นว่ามาลินีและเพื่อนๆที่สนใจและก็ติดตามเรื่องรณรงค์เกี่ยวกับความปลอดภัยของเด็กผู้หญิงโดยเฉพาะเรื่องจมน้ำเนี่ยแหละครับเราไม่เคยได้ยินแต่วันนี้ผมเชื่อว่าเป็นประเด็นที่น่าสนใจมากเราก็ไม่เคยคิดว่าสถิติของเด็กจมน้ําของไทยเรานี่เป็นสาเหตุของการเสียชีวิตของเด็กสูงสุดเลยครับ Thank you Malini and keep in touch I would be very happy to uh, ask you to come on a regular basis to talk about this issue That would be wonderful I hope to be back in Bangkok in November okay. The government is organizing an event on drowning yes. uh, prevention so I hope to be there Great Okay Thank you very much. Thank you Marina. so much. Bye bye. And a very good evening to all of your viewers. You too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.